Hi everyone, this is a review of the new Mainstays Fall 2021 Wax Melt Scents from Walmart uh, that just came out within the past couple of weeks, maybe two weeks. There's only four scents, but Mainstays really doesn't come out with that many new scents at a time anyway. If you've never seen my reviews before, I don't actually look at the scent notes until after I've done the review because I don't want to be swayed by what I think it should smell like. So we will start with Bourbon Pecan Pie. And the notes are, and you can find the notes right on the Walmart, Walmart website. Notes are buttery rich pie crust brimming with chopped pecans, sweet brown sugar, and bourbon infused molasses topped with velvety swirls of whipped cream. This is a sweet, buttery, brown sugar and or molasses scent with slightly salty caramel, a milky note, and a hint of nuts. It smells a little burnt, which is probably the bourbon note, but it's not enough to be annoying. Looking at the notes, they're spot on, and the milkiness is the whipped cream. Although it's not a bakery scent because I don't smell pie crust, although I do detect a bit of graham crackers, which are not in the notes. This smells more like caramel candies, but with all those other notes added. And I really like it. It's not my, like a top 10 favorite, but I do like it. And the throw is medium, like a three out of five would do well in a small to medium sized room. Next is cashmere mahogany. And the notes are aromatic herbs and fresh cut mahogany embracing a spicy warmth of clove dusted vanilla wrapped in smooth tonka white amber, and dark notes of earthy patchouli. Additional hints of molasses, vanilla, and musk combine to make this the perfect fall fragrance. This is an incredible scent of sweet tobacco, vanilla, warm amber, patchouli, and maybe a smidgen of caramel or even chocolate, although patchouli does tend to have a chocolatey note, and possibly a smidgen of cinnamon way in the background. It's much sweeter and more foody than most similar scents, Looking at the notes, I don't really smell the mahogany, which is a rich dark wood that sometimes has a cologne note. And I don't really get cloves, although that could be way in the background. And there's no tobacco listed. Now the notes that say the that say additional hints of molasses, vanilla, and musk are the same as what's shown for the pumpkin weather scent, which I'm going to review in a minute. But I think that those notes apply to this scent rather than that one as I do smell the vanilla, although I'm not sh sure why they repeated it twice. And the caramel I thought I detected could be molasses. And although it's not a perfumey scent at all, the musk could be contributing to the sweetness. So I don't know if that those additional hints of molasses, vanilla, and musk are really for this scent or they're really for pumpkin weather. So there might've been a typo made somewhere, not sure. So, I also knew that I recognized this scent. It's quite similar to Better Homes and, Gar Better Homes and Gardens Suede Cinnamon Woods. But, and I compared them together side by side. This scent is slightly sweeter and I do detect the cinnamon in this scent that I don't detect in that scent. But otherwise it's actually quite close. So a really nice scent. I really, really like this one. Throw is strong. It's a 3.5 out of 5. Would do well in a medium to a large room. Next we have Crispy Treats. And the notes are Fluffy marshmallow enhanced with fruity lemon, raspberry, and peach over crispy cereal puffs and a sweet dash of pure sugar cane. This smells like Fruit Loop cereal with orange, lemon, and raspberry in that order. And I actually smell the cereal note. It's quite similar to Sensational's Marshmallow Krispies, but this scent has the addition of raspberry that that scent does not. And it has less lemon and more marshmallow, and it's slightly richer and sweeter. So, and comparing the two, Sensational's Marshmallow Krispies has a bit of a chemical note that this scent does not have, so I do like this scent a lot more. Looking at the notes, I don't smell peach at all, and I'm surprised that I don't, that there's no orange in the scent notes. It's an incredible scent. It's probably the best Fruit Loops cereal type scent that I've ever smelled. Um, it didn't last quite as long as I would have liked. It may be maybe like three hours, which I guess is not too bad, but 
I expect it to last a little bit longer. The throw is very strong, like a four out of five. So this is definitely a good one, crispy, crispy treats. And last is, is pumpkin weather. Notes are apples, pears, and eucalyptus wrapped in notes of white pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. Additional hints of molasses, vanilla, and musk combined to make this the perfect fall fragrance. This is a fantastic scent of fallen leaves with a hint of pine and maybe a smidgen of apple. I think it smells a lot like Shades of Autumn from uh, Mainstay Shades of Autumn from 2018, which I described as raw wood and fallen leaves with just a hint of pine and maybe a barely detectable smidgen of apple. But I no longer have it to compare, and I don't think that that one had the pumpkiny note either. Um, this one also smells similar to Sonoma Falling Leaves from Kohl's. The difference between this scent and those other fallen leaves, brown apple type scents is that this one also has a sweet pumpkin pie note, nutmeg and a little cinnamon that the other ones don't. On Cold Sniff, it's like 50% pumpkin pie and 50% falling leaves, uh, but with a little more of the apple note, but when it's melted, it's more like 30% pumpkin and 70% falling leaves and a bit less apple. It's a perfect fall scent and I love it. Looking at the notes, there's no pine, but eucalyptus does smell a little bit like pine. The additional hint of molasses, vanilla, and musk are the same as what's shown for the cashmere mahogany scent. I do detect a hint of vanilla and maybe a smidgen of molasses, although not so much when melted, but no musk. There's no perfumey notes. So I have a feeling that those additional hints of molasses, vanilla, and musk might indeed be for the cashmere mahogany scent, and they were just added to this to these scent notes by mistake. The uh, throw on this is strong. It's like a 3.5 out of 5. Would do well in a medium to a large room. So there you have it, the four new mainstays, fall 2021 scents from Walmart. If you want to read a text version of this review, just go to waxmeltreviews.com. And feel free to join our Facebook group where we discuss all different brands and scents of store-bought and retail wax melts, including the mainstays. You can find the link to our Facebook group underneath this video and on our website at waxmeltreviews.com. Have a good day.